Hey guys, it's Marcus from Pug Palace back again. We got um, we got you know who right here. He's definitely grown up. We're gonna put him down. I um, I got him pretty much paper trained. I got him as low pad as a pan that he pretty much carries everywhere we go. If he's in the cage. I put that in the back half of the case, so, he, so he's pretty accustomed to that. And I got a little tarp down there. I was going to put carpet down just to break him in as far as staying away from the carpet. But we're not going to go that far right now. As you see, pretty much this Wolpin box has served well over the past uh, month and a half. From the labor, whelping, uh, nursing of the puppies, the whole nine yards, and you know you can if you make a good size whelping box, you can do you can do uh, quite a bit with it. Just just some simple. And, and as the puppy progresses, you make make little changes. You make very very small changes to the whelping box he's already uh, used to the box so um, it, it, it's not like a new environment for him so he's perfectly fine you see he's pretty playful because I just brought him down here so he doesn't know how to act right now he'll be sleeping about 10-15 minutes I think he's peeing on the paper yep he just peed on this paper you see this whole whelping box it's about a three foot by three and a half foot whelping box and as you see he went right to his his um, pee pan to use the restroom so like I said with the first couple weeks what you want to do you want to go and you want to line the whole area with paper that way they get the feel for the paper and just poop and pee on the paper then like if you got um little pieces of newspaper or something just keep a piece of that paper that's got some scent on it and just place that underneath the new pieces of paper with um within the um the whelping area and what that will do it's when he gets the um, sniffing around or whatnot, he'll he'll recognize that scent and he'll naturally go back and associate that paper with a, a place uh, to use the restroom. Um, he's seven weeks old now. I put a lot of work into this puppy here. You can visit my site at pugpalace.net. I got this puppy for sale. He's going for $500. He's showing some very good traits. His tail is curling up just like you would want. Uh, well, just like a judge would, would uh, want um, for a pug in a best in show. Um, he's very active. Good breathing. A lot of those pugs have a real bad snorting sound or whatnot. I know he's still young, but he's showing some really good, uh, really good traits. He's he's square. He's square and cobby as well, which is another good trait. Like I said, very healthy. Vet checked. Paper train. And uh, he's still in the process of weaning from mom. I got mom over behind me and I had as you see I had to staple the damn tarp into a whelping box because Mr. Hope loves to rip shit up. Excuse the language for any youngsters watching. Um, but like I said he's a very very happy camper. Always leave a few toys so the puppy doesn't become bored because when they're bored that's when they start just messing up stuff chewing up their their paper where they're using the bathroom um, 
also while we're, while I just caught him doing that, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and um, explain why I made the welcome box uh, so tall because he's trying to escape. And like I said, he's seven weeks old. I made this box deep enough that way he can't escape out of the box. So it's gonna you know they'll they'll be well on their way to a new home by the time they get out the box as you see he's busting his butt and he's failing every time this will keep them contained just well any people in the cleveland area that need any welcome boxes i'll hook you up um, and also give you lessons on um, how to train not only your pug but any dog I um, I take everything I do very serious so if you call me up with some information I'm gonna give you the, the best answers I'm gonna do my best to, to guide you on your way I'm not even gonna charge you I'm just looking to help people out especially my pug lovers out there but like I said keep a few toys keep a few toys within the box that way your puppy doesn't become uh, too bored because they'll start chewing up the wood which will make them sick if you use treated wood he'll actually start chewing up well mine won't but your dog will just start getting into trouble he'll start chewing up all the paper where he's peeing and pooping he'll rip it all up and make it all nasty and he'll just start being a badass so treat your puppy with respect treat them like it's a baby keep everything in order you still got to be you know um you know the the, the alpha the the dominant uh, person do that and you'll be on your way thanks for watching pug palace kennels i'm out